Hey everybody, do really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nor 9 Var Commons. We are on Masamune and Koharu's story. And uh Koharu decided she wanted to go talk to Masamune, but it turns out that it was Boys Night drinking in Ron's room. And she still hasn't realized that. But uh she ran into him outside. Fortunately we decided not to go inside. Though oh, oh maybe I should go back and see what happens if we did. But it's too well shoot. I really want to see what happens, so I'm going to do this and go back <laughs> and see what happens, and then we'll come back to this part at the, the right choice. Let's go inside with these two hunks. Is going in there really a good idea? Oh, I got a second thought. Go for it. I think Mr. Masamune taught me something about going in a gentleman's room. What was it? I can't seem to remember. No regrets, go for it! <laughs> Give me second and third thoughts. Okay, thank you for letting me join you. Want a drink? Whoa, hold it, Ron. She's still a minor, so no booze. A cup of regular juice will be just fine. Isn't that right, Koharu? R right, thank you. Oh, it's a good thing I did this, because we get an image. Why is she squished in between them like this? So, uh, what's her name again? This is Koharu, Ron. God, you could at least try to remember the girls' names, if you're not going to learn anyone else's. Uh, I don't know. Well, I say that it's even less likely that you'd ever need to remember a girl's name. Jeez, man. You gotta go there again. I have no clue what you're talking about. Right, Kahonu? What he's talking about makes absolutely no sense at all to us normal, polite people. You with me? You with me? R right. Though, I'm not sure what Mr. Itsuki is saying either. Oh, maybe if I got to touch her, it'd help me remember her name. What? Oh, no! This is starting to get a little scary. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for? I remember what Mr. Masamune said about this now. He told me to never go into a gentleman's room. Oh, jeez. This is all my fault for forgetting what he taught me. Mr. Masamune. I, I think I should go back to my room now. Oh, why? Surely you can hang out with us for just a little more. Masa will be here real soon. Oh, I was kind of hoping you didn't come back. As long as I got my booze, I'm good. Whoa, whoa. Easy on the truth, Ron. You keep blurting out what you really think like that, and you'll scare all the girls away. Hmm. I've never let one escape me before. Oh. Mr. Masamune! What are you two doing? <laughs> Mr. Masamune! Uh-oh. Hey, welcome back, man. Find all the booze? <laughs> I went back to my room after that. Oddly, no one ever saw or heard from either of us. Oddly, no one ever saw or heard from either Mr. Itsuki or Ron ever again. <laughs> Is this a bad ending here? Did he, like, kill them? And bury their body? <laughs> oh my god, it's an ending! Oh my god, he killed them and buried them somewhere on the Norn. This is crazy. I can't believe it. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Best ending. Best ending in the game. <laughs> Well, you did tell me not to go into a gentleman's room. I did, did I? Mr. Masamune smiled, reaching out to ruffle my hair. With one touch, all my nervousness went away. My heart ceased its anxious fluttering, and I felt all warm inside. Yeah, I like being with Mr. Masamune. It makes me feel all warm and safe. You're such a good girl. A good girl? Sharp as knives, his words stabbed at my heart. So, what did you need to see me for? I wanted to say thank you. 
Well, for what? For teaching me everything you did. It has been really helpful to me, thank you. I very much enjoy the time we got to spend together. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Good night. I only spoke to him for a little bit. I could have saved it until tomorrow, really. Saying thank you was just an excuse, but I knew that. All I really wanted was a chance to talk with him some more. I mean... Out of all the time I spent here, I have the most fun when I'm with him. Mr. Masamune! Why'd you have to say we can't be partners anymore? It's not fair, it's too soon. Way too soon. You shouldn't have decided that all by yourself. I... I wanted to spend more time with you. So much more time. Was... was that all a dream? I... I blamed Mr. Masamune and badmouthed him. That wasn't nice of me at all. I'm not a good girl at all. Koharu, are you alright? Mikoto! Goodness, you were absolutely soaked with sweat. Wait a moment, I'll bring you a towel. Thank goodness it was all just a dream. If I'd really said anything like that to Mr. Masamune out loud. Here. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling alright? Should I fetch the Hyokos for you? No, I'm fine, thank you. That's right. Tonight I'm sharing the room with Mikoto. No holding back now. If you're not feeling well, tell me. Even if you have to wake me. Okay. Um, Mikoto. I'm really sorry about asking you those weird and improper things earlier. What do you mean about kissing? Yeah. Oh, do not worry about it. That sort of thing is merely common gossip is all. Why did you feel you need to ask? Um, I just wanted to know if there was any meaning to kisses, that's all. I think I agree with what Mr. Sakuya said. Kisses are special things. I think I would never want to kiss anyone. Why not? Well, it is something you do with someone that you love, right? I could never manage that. Manage what? Isn't there someone that you like? Can't you imagine liking someone? No, I... I cannot. She can't what, I wonder? Was she saying that she couldn't fall in love? Or did she just mean that she couldn't kiss anyone? I didn't have a chance to ask her because she immediately pulled the covers up and turned away. Mikoto was older, wiser, and stronger than I was. She's also super responsible and pretty. But when she was talking to me about kisses, her voice sounded weak and unsure. It was hard to fathom, but maybe she was struggling with problems I didn't know about. Anyway, that was a really bad dream I had. I can't believe I said that stuff to Mr. Masamune, even if it was all a dream. I wasn't the good girl that Mr. Masamune thought I was at all. But a part of me wanted him to keep thinking I was, so that's why I didn't say anything when he decided we weren't going to be partners anymore. I didn't try to stop it, but... I still blame Mr. Masamune for doing it. If he ever finds out what I really felt, he'll hate me for it. Huh. Is something wrong, Mikoto? I am fine. How about you? You were toting some impressive bags under your eyes this morning. Uh, I am? Uh, you did not sleep at all, did you? Wow, Mikoto, you notice everything. And what is the matter with you, Nanami? I didn't say anything. I have spent enough time with you to notice when you are not looking well, even without you saying a word about it. Yikes! What's wrong, girls? You all look like zombies. Oh, hi, Mr. Heishi! Ugh, the most annoying one had to be first. Something wrong? How come Itsuki is not coming this time? It's nothing you need to be concerned about. Jeez, somebody sure woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Anyway, how about you all play this ghost leg puzzle? It'll help cheer you up. 
An army dakuji? Why would you come up with that? It was Itsuki's idea. Oh, I knew it. It wasn't me. It was Itsuki's idea. He asked me to have you girls each pick one of these ones here. Mr. Heishi held out a piece of paper. It had a three-line ghost-like puzzle drawn on it. Nothing looked particularly unusual about it. And that just makes me more suspicious. Huh? Why? It's just a plain old ghost leg. There's nothing weird about it. It's not suspicious because of how it looks. It's suspicious because Itsuki is involved. Eesh, don't any of you have any faith in that guy at all? Nope. What is he plotting? Nothing. He just said there's something he must to try is all. Well, you can count me out. Nothing good ever comes from getting involved in anything either of you think of. Aw, oh, come on. It'll only take a second. No! The three of us were trying to have a nice conversation. Stop interrupting us. Um, I'm really sorry, Mr. Heishi. Ooh, you three are no fun at all. What, so we're not gonna have the dream sequence this time? Oh, what got them all worked up this morning anyway? And what am I gonna do with this puzzle now? <sighs> Look, now the guys are gonna go through their sighing thing. What's with that sigh? <sighs> Ugh. First the chicks in the dining hall, now you two. Why is everybody so damn gloomy today? All three of them are quite out of sorts. Duh, I figured that when they kicked us all out of the dining hall, why'd I get booted out with the rest of you? They're your partners, so if you all did something, then go fix it. Why? I think it's a lovely idea that the ladies want to know each other better. I have no intention of interfering with that. However, I do agree that it is unkind to abandon them when the three of them are so obviously in poor moods. <sighs> Kuga's always been a shrew, yeah, but the others... Hey, Toya, you do something to your girl. <clears throat> you know, I never did hear what happened after we talked that day. Mind filling me in? Uh... Um, excuse me. Senri, how unusual to see you out and about. Toya, I heard you dissolved your partnership, is that true? It, did she tell you that? Yeah. Interesting. So that's how you choose to display your fidelity. <laughs> I didn't have a choice in the matter. I'd already made up my mind that I wouldn't have that kind of relationship on this journey. Says the guy who already took the chance he was presented. What? You took advantage of her, Toya? Uh, I don't know what happened between you two, but she told me I get to be Toya's new partner. She still isn't quite used to life on the ship, I guess. Kakeru might be the better choice to keep an eye on her anyway. Do you honestly believe that? What's with that look? Do you really think that overbearing egomaniac is the best choice of partner for her? Whoa, hold on there. Kakeru wasn't that bad. Stop, just stop. Quit saying his name so many times. My, my. I'd say Senri isn't particularly fond of Kakeru at all. Oh well, as long as things turn out better for me, I don't care what happens to anyone else. But maybe you should go check up on her a little bit more often. Oh, a cold shiver just ran down my spine. That devil spawn must be approaching. Devil spawn? If you'll excuse me, I need to flee. <laughs> it looks like Senri is concerned about her too. Yeah. Hey, you guys! Listen to this! You're so not going to believe it! Pipe down, would you? You don't have to shout. Hmm, so you're the Devil Spawn, Heishi. <laughs> no, the Devil Spawn is Yuiga. The girls were just totally cruel to me for no reason. I was just trying to chat with them, but they kicked me out of the dining hall. You went to the dining hall? And you tried to talk to them after you saw how they looked? Yeah, I mean, all of them looked down in the dumps, right? So I thought I'd try to, you know, cheer them up, but pow, I get the boot. Eesh, girls. One day they're cute as a button, next day they're terrifying demons. I just don't understand them. 
What is difficult to understand is why you thought it was a good idea to bother them when they're obviously irritated. Man, after I made this ghost leg -like puzzle too, guess it's pointless now. Oh wait, I know. I'll just get you guys to pick. Here, each of you pick whichever one of these three lines you want. A ghost leg? <laughs> I'm not playing any of that stupid crap. Okay, fine. Once Masamune and Sakuya pick two, you'll just get the leftover one by default. We can pick any one we want. Well then, I take this one. What's this all about, anyway? Huh? Heh, <laughs> you'll all get to find out the results tonight. Just a message, yeah, yeah, same thing. Which we skip as usual. I... I don't feel like I managed to explain everything properly to them. I'm not very sure what's going on, but I think I'm somehow in the fairy tale Snow White. I guess I should just follow how the story goes. Well, here I am in the forest. Oh dear! Oh, where would the dwarf's hut be? I think that is where I'm supposed to go next. If I'm supposed to find the most important person to me, and I'm Snow White, that would be the prince, right? But to meet the prince, Snow White first has to eat the poisoned apple. Oh dear, I wonder what it tastes like. It probably tastes all bitter and nasty. But then the prince comes and sweeps Snow White into his arms, and that knocks the piece of apple out of her mouth, waking her up. I think. Then they both go back to the prince's castle and get married and live happily ever after. That's right, marriage. Am I going to have to get married to someone I haven't even met before? Beep, beep. A uh, Hyoko? Oh, wait for me! Is this the hut where the dwarves live in the story? Maybe in this particular version, they aren't dwarves, but Hyokos. Now that I think about it, you're the first Hyoko I've officially met. Thank you very much for guiding me here. I'm happy to make your acquaintance. <laughs> I'll do anything at all to help you. If you let me stay with you, I'll cook, I'll clean. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Beep. Oh, let me get it. Wait right here, please, Mr. Hyoko. There was one person standing outside when I opened the door. He had a hood draped over his face, so I couldn't really tell who he was without staring rudely. Hi there, Koharu. I've come to visit you. Oh, wait. I guess I'm supposed to be calling you Snow White. Yuika! Beep! <laughs> Mr. Hyoko leapt up behind me into the air with a frightened squawk. Oh, Mr. Hyoko, where are you? He ran away. I wonder what made him so scared. The demon spawn of hell? That's not important now. I have to explain what's going on to Yuiga. And then I came here. I relayed everything I'd been told by Mr. Itsuki to Yuiga. I needed to find the one who was important to me. I also needed to try and find the right way to reach the end. Uh huh, I see. So in other words, this is all one giant prank by Itsuki. So, you gotta find your important person, eh? Well, you're Snow White right now, so that means your important person is the prince, I think. But I don't know who the prince is, or what kind of person he is. I don't even know how I'm supposed to find him. Koharu, you know how the story of Snow White goes, right? The cute and naive Snow White takes a bite out of the poison apple and collapses. Enter the dashing prince who comes to rescue her. Right! And once he saves her, Snow White goes with the prince back to his castle. Oh, I'm going to have to marry him after that, aren't I? Even though I don't know him at all. But it's just a dream. Masamune's the prince, by the way. Really? He is? <laughs> About time you smiled. I guess you're pretty glad he got to be the prince then, huh? Well, um... It's better than him being some stranger. I am really happy that Mr. Masamune is the prince, but then... What? It's better than some random stranger? That's it? <laughs> Man, he's going to be so hurt if he ever hears you say that. So, uh, you really want to see him, right? Well then, 
You're going to have to eat me. Eat? You, Yuika? Yeah. I'm the poison apple. But, but I could never eat you. That sounds like it'd be really painful, and I, I couldn't do that. I'm no cannibal. Yeah, not a really big fan of pain. So if that's out, then I guess we're going to have to look for some other way to... But kisses don't hurt at all. Easy. You don't have to be afraid. This is the only way you'll get to see Masamune. Yuika gently ran a finger down my cheek. I could see him smiling in the darkened recesses of his hood, but something about his smile didn't look right. Something's wrong. Yuika isn't the kind of person to behave like this. Yuika, stop! Please! Kisses are, um... They're supposed to be special things. They're not supposed to happen with just anyone. So, um... Yuika! <laughs> Gohoru! Kakeru! Aw, oh, too bad. The prince is here. Uh, I guess I'll take off, for now. Mr. Masamune! Koharu, are you okay? I have to say, I was terrified! I... I was so scared! Yoiga wasn't acting like himself at all. It was like he couldn't hear a word I said. It's okay. I'm here now, you're safe. Mr. Masamune! Kakeru isn't the only one who's off. I ran across some of the others, and they all dressed and acted like entirely different people, too. It's dangerous for us to stay here alone. We need to find some way to get back to the real world. Oh! Mr. Itsuki told me that we have to find the right way to reach the end to get out. Itsuki did? Okay, I get it now. Itsuki's power must be control over dreams. Is something wrong? Huh? No, no, it's nothing. So, what's the end supposed to be? I think this is Snow White's story that we're in. The end of that story is when the prince takes her with him to his castle. The prince, eh? I guess in this case, that would be me. Y yeah I guess so. I mean, you do seem a little different from usual. You're, um... Uh, I'm not scaring you, am I? Relax. I'm myself, I promise. No, no! I wasn't thinking that you're scary right now at all. It's more, um... What? If there's something you want to say, you can say it. Uh, okay, but don't call it flattery, please. I think you look very handsome. Oh gosh, putting it that way makes it seem more like I'm saying you don't usually look handsome. But you do! I think you look very handsome every day, but right now you look really handsome. In a new and different way, and um... Must hold back. Huh? It, it's nothing. So, uh, let's say we go to my castle and get this thing over with. Watch your step. I will. Oh, yeah. I just remembered we left that poor Hyoko back in the hut. Huh? There was a Hyoko here, too? Yeah. He was the first Hyoko I really met. He was so tiny and cute. I almost couldn't help but want to protect him and keep him safe. I hope he's okay by himself. That hut was the Hyoko's house though, right? I'm sure he'll be just fine. So despite everything we're stuck in right now, you're still concerned for the well-being of others. You really are a good girl. No, I'm not a good girl at all. I was lying to Mr. Masamune. I was pretending to be something I wasn't. Now we were on our way to the prince's castle. Would we really have to get married when we got there? Besides, I'm not allowed to single anyone on board out as special. Mr. Masamune, are you sure you're okay with this? With what? When we get to the castle, the story says the prince and Snow White get married. Um, oh, are you okay with that? Yeah, it is asking a bit much, isn't it? But we have to do it, if that's what it takes for us to get back to the real world. We have to do it. We would get married, go back to the real world, and then act like none of it had ever happened. It was the same thing. We were just repeating the same thing. Doing something special. 
then immediately trying to undo it all by saying it was a mistake. I'm sorry, Mr. Masamune. This is all my fault for being stupid and indecisive. What? Do you hate the idea that much? I'm sorry. I'm being so rude and unreasonable, but this is the real me. Every time Mr. Masamune called me a good girl, I felt like I was deceiving him. No, I actually was deceiving him. I was hiding my mean and petty self from him and pretending everything was okay. But I can't take it anymore. I'm not a good girl, Mr. Masamune. I'm really not. I even think bad things about you in my mind sometimes. Like what? You don't have to keep it to yourself. Say what you think about me out loud. I held you against your will and forced a kiss on you. I don't know how you felt afterwards when you ran away. But you had to be scared, right? Just like you were a moment ago when Kakeru came after you. You can blame me for that. I deserve it. Why did you have to say we couldn't be partners anymore? Huh? If there's something wrong with me, I'll do my best to fix it. You said you would be there for me, but now you weren't. You lied to me, you jerk. Even that kiss. It, it was really special to me. The more I thought about it, the more time passed. The stronger the feelings inside me grew. At first I was happy just watching Mr. Masamune help others. Seeing him do the best he could made me feel warm inside, but somewhere along the line, another feeling stirred inside me. I wanted to be with him instead of watching. Now I have to wait just a little longer. I want to be with him forever, and that kiss is what made me realize all of that. That's what made that kiss so important. That's what made it so special to me. But you said it was a mistake. I... I didn't want you to apologize for it. I'm sorry. No! I don't want any more of your apologies! Oh, I thought she pushed him down. <laughs> Here, let me explain this to you step by step. I decided we should stop being partners, because that's the best way for me to keep my promise to you. I can't promise that I won't ever try to touch you like that again. That's why I thought it was best for me to stay away from you. Plus, I have my duty. I have to be fair and impartial towards everyone on the ship. You were starting to become so important to me, I wouldn't be able to be unbiased anymore. But, more than anything, I guess I just could not stand that you weren't saying or doing anything anymore. Huh? Even after that night, you didn't change. You acted exactly the same as ever. So I thought, you didn't see me as, you know, a man. No, I do! Really! My heart was racing that whole time. Really? Yeah. But you instantly agreed when I suggested we split apart. That's... that's because... I wanted you to say I was a good girl again. I purposely didn't say anything because all I would have said would have been bad things. But it... it hurts too much to do that anymore. And that goes for me too. I can't take much more of you calling me a nice person without doing something. Mr. Masamune! Listen, right now I have certain duties. I have to be fair and impartial to everybody. I'm not allowed to have anyone on board who's special to me. So, would you mind just putting this on pause until our journey is over? Please. But, once we reach our destination, isn't everyone going to be split up? I can't wait until then if it means I won't get to see you again. Don't worry, that won't happen. What? Just trust me. What you think is going to happen won't happen. We'll be able to stay together. Really? So, uh, think of this wedding ceremony we're about to go through as a, a rehearsal. Yeah. A rehearsal? You mean it's practice? You always tell me that practicing is very important. Uh, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Okay. I'll practice my very hardest, so that I can get it right for the real thing. Must resist. Ugh, I just had a speech how I would be good too. Ugh. Are you okay, Mr. Masamune? Yeah, I'm fine. Say, uh, would you mind never telling any of this to anyone else? Okay, it'll be our little secret. Just the two of us. <laughs> right, at least I hope it stays that way. 
I pray Itsuki hasn't been listening in. Oh, look, Mr. Masamune. I see the castle over there. Yeah, there it is. Let's hurry over. Yeah. We took each other's hand and strode confidently to the castle. I'm sure I felt way happier than Snow White must have in the fairy tale. As we walked, I swear I heard a voice whisper on the wind. Good for you. I look around, but I didn't see anyone. Which kind of tea do you want, Mr. Masamune? I'm fine with whichever one you want. Okay. Hmm. Let's have this kind today. Uh, wait just a moment. I'll go boil the water right away. Sure. Both of us returned from Snow White's Dream World safe and sound the next morning. Life immediately returned to normal between the two of us, and we were still partners. In the end, everything turned out just like Mr. Senri said it would. I guess it must have been really obvious. Me not wanting to stop being Mr. Masamune's partner. Oh, there are cookies too! Uh, co cookies Hmm, Mr. Masamune, are you not fond of sweet things? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! I didn't know that at all, but I still thoughtlessly tried to give you some as a present before. No, no. I don't hate sweets. I'm actually quite fond of them, in fact. Unfortunately, there's a problem. A problem? When I eat sweet things, I... I get drunk. What? For some unknown reason, my body treats sugar the same way it does alcohol. I think I actually get drunk off sugar more easily. I'm fine with things that are only slightly sweetened, but when it comes to things full of sugar like candy and sweets... I have never heard of any such thing. Does that actually happen to anybody? Then you did what you did on that night on the roof because you were drunk? Right. Wait, wait, no. I'm not saying it was just a bout of drunken licentiousness. That isn't what it was at all. That cookie was just enough to, uh, loosen my inhibitions. When I saw you, I didn't have the wit to hold back my desire to touch you. Well, okay. So maybe it's pretty much drunken licentiousness. <laughs> but I meant it in a different way than most drunken... I... Uh... <laughs> Just like, hand him a cookie. Cookie for your thoughts. That's supposed to do nothing. <laughs> okay. I guess you can't have any of these cookies then. Even though you like sweet things. That's too bad. Right. I have to be especially careful about them when I'm around you. Why? Why? B because I might do something like what I did before, that's why. I... I really wouldn't mind. <laughs> oh, um, r right. We're in the kitchen instead of up on the roof this time, too. Exactly. There's no telling when someone else could come strolling in here. And you still have your duties, too. Right. Hmm. Anyway, it's time I went and delivered today's report to the world. Okay. I guess I'll go back to my room then. Hmm. I think I stay with Mikoto tonight, and then tomorrow I move over with Nanami. I wonder, did both of them have a dream last night like we did? Um, actually, you should have saw them in your dream and explained stuff, remember? I think I'll ask Nanami when I... What the? Oops! Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry, Mikoto. Were you alright? Mikoto! I took Mikoto by the hand and led her back into our room. I tried to get her to lie down on the bed and rest, but she sat on the sofa and refused to budge. She sat there staring at her hands in her lap, like she was trying to fight off something that was paining her. What happened, Mikoto? Okay, and we'll find out what happened to Mikoto in the next episode. <laughs> I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Dearly signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.